Based on my research, BYD is the only automotive company on the face of the earth to do this one thing. In fact, they just changed the game. If other automakers don't start doing something similar, it's going to be very hard for them to compete, maybe impossible. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. My name is Sam Evans. Great to have you. And I make videos on this channel about electric cars, BYD, Tesla, General Motors, everyone. Everyone, everyone, everyone making electric cars, I make videos and talk about what I think will happen, whether or not you should actually buy their electric car, what battery that electric car comes with, if it's a good battery, if it's a bad battery, and also talk about my predictions for the future. One of my predictions on this channel, I'll put a link in the description below, and I made this prediction a long time ago, was that BYD and Tesla would be the two largest car companies on the face of the earth by 2030, and I'm sticking with that prediction. Here's why. As far as I can discover, no automotive company in history has ever done this before, right? Well, first of all, let's focus on what BYD is doing now. Number one, they have at least 800,000 pre-orders for electric cars in China. They're currently in the midst of doing what? Trying to take over the world. Now, I know that sounds like a joke, but it's actually true. They are. Not only are they ramping production of EVs, faster than anyone else except maybe Tesla. They manufacture their own batteries. They manufacture their own drive motors. They manufacture pretty much almost everything that goes into their electric cars. Not everything, but close to it. And they manufacture pretty much all of that in China. Now, as you know, Tesla doesn't really make any profit from the cars that they don't manufacture in China. So that's an advantage, not a disadvantage. But you're probably thinking, well, one problem there, Viking, they've got to get their cars from China to everywhere else. They're going to ship them around the world, right? Isn't that a problem? Well, yes, it is. A little bit. But BYD are doing something that no one else has ever done before. They're buying cargo ships in order to transport their cars around the world themselves. Yes, BYD will now become a shipping company. Now, vertical integration has been taken to new levels by Tesla, but Sorry, if you believe Tesla is the most vertically integrated company in the world, you haven't been watching the Electric Viking. I've been trying to educate people now for more than a year that BYD is by far the most vertically integrated car company in the world. Now, this just makes them one level above the current vertical integration that they're at, right? It makes them the masters of their own destiny. They don't rely on anyone. They don't rely on other companies who want to make a profit off them. They're going around that buying eight massive container ships to ship their cars all around the world. Now, if this isn't global expansion, if selling your cars in Latin America, right, South America, Brazil, India, Southeast Asia, China, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Europe, Norway, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, if, that, if that's not global expansion, I don't know what is. Now, if building your cars, building the batteries, and then putting them onto your own ships and shipping them to a country isn't and a very clear attempt to take over automation, to take massive market share in the global automotive industry, then I don't know what else could clearly spell this out for people. BYD say they've already ordered multiple pure car truck carriers to meet the company's future car export transportation around the world. Chinese media has seen that BYD have purchased eight liquid natural gas dual fuel PCTCs capable of transporting 7,700 vehicles each. Now, 7,700 vehicles times eight is, by my maths, 61,600 vehicles. So at any one point in time, BYD can transport on their own ships 61,000 600 electric cars around the world. Now, obviously, pretty unlikely they're going to be using these to transport ships in China, right? Wouldn't make much sense. So that would mean BYD plan on selling 61,600 EVs per what? Per month, maybe worldwide? I don't know, but it's a big number, whatever it is. Now, reports in China said that BYD has already held discussions with three different shipyards or more, including CSSC, Hangpu Wenchong Shipbuilding, and China Merchants Yuling Shipyard. Now let's add this to other developments with BYD lately. BYD released the SEAL, their new Tesla Model 3 competitor. They've already sold 110,000 in less than a month. 110,000, right? So now they have nearly a million pre-orders for their electric cars. What else do they do? The SEAL has cell-to-body technology, which is similar to Tesla's structural battery. In addition, BYD sold 134,000 electric and plug-in hybrid cars during the month of June, making them the second largest electric vehicle manufacturer anywhere in the world. Now, I've been begging people to buy BYD shares as long as they're not from Australia. Anywhere else, yes, do it. Aussies, don't listen to me. For a long time now. And I bought their shares 
back, I believe it was in April of 2021. I even spoke about it on this channel when I first started the channel. Now, recently, BYD stock price has gone down a little bit because the speculation that Warren Buffett is sold or selling out of his position, or at least part of his position in BYD. Buffett invested in BYD back in 2008, and the company have literally made Berkshire Hathaway have made billions of dollars on that investment. Could they be cashing out? They might be. No one really knows yet. We'll find out soon. But personally, I took this as an opportunity. The stock price went down a bit because of these rumors. And I went, okay, thank you very much. I'll just buy a little bit more. You know why? Most people don't know what's going on. Most people don't know that BYD also signed six different contracts with lithium mining companies in Africa. Most people don't know that BYD is actually the third biggest battery company on the face of the earth. And soon, they may be competing with Tesla to be the biggest EV company as well. In fact, many people say they're already the biggest. If you include plug-in hybrids, that would be correct. If you don't, they're the second biggest. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you agree? Will BYD become one of the two biggest automakers in the world by 2030? Am I right? Am I wrong? Let me know what you think. As always, have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.